Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to launch WordPress application on your AWS EC2. Okay, so to get started, let us go ahead and create an EC2 instance first. Okay, so let's go to AWS console. So this is my AWS console. So let me create a new EC2 instance. Okay, to do that, go ahead and search for EC2. So if you see this virtual servers in the cloud, click on EC2. It will take you to the page where you can go ahead and launch an EC2 instance. Okay, come all the way down. You see this orange box with launch instance symbol. Click on that and click on launch instance. So here you need to fill in few details to launch an EC2 instance. Let us do that. Okay, so first thing that you need to do is name. Okay, so what is your EC2 instance name? Let me tell that as, uh, you know, let me name it as WordPress demo, WordPress server. Okay, so I'll name this as WordPress server and you need to select an AMI. So if you do not know what is an AMI, it is just operating system along with your some softwares that you need like so if you need wordpress you can select that if you need some other software that needs to be installed you can go ahead with that okay so for this particular session i'm interested in creating a wordpress site so what we'll do we'll go ahead and search for a, 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 a virtual machine with an ami of wordpress okay so to do that go ahead and browse for more amis and here you have a search button to search for all the uh, related AMIs here that are offered by your AWS. So go ahead and search for WordPress here in the search bar and hit enter. You should be seeing zero in the quick start AMI, but if you go to AWS marketplace, you have around 250, 246 AMIs that are listed okay so some are free some are paid so make sure to use the one that you want okay so and also make sure to you are if you are using free tier account make sure you are in that free tier account itself okay so for this video i'm going to use this wordpress certified by bitnami and automatic so this is a great you know ami that they have developed so i'm going to select that if you see this is free tier eligible and you're going to pay this much if you run for one hour okay so i'm okay with this and i'll click on continue okay so right now if you see uh, this is my name and these are the things that uh, got deployed or selected as part of selecting that bitnami ami and this is the instance type make sure this also uh, belongs to your free tier if not you know search for free it will show all the free tier eligible instances so i'm going with t2.micro key pair it is used to log into your ec2 instances if you already have one go ahead with it or or else you can create a new key pair by clicking here okay so i'll go with create a uh, i'll select the one that i already have new kp okay so network and subnet i'm not going with the default i don't want to select anything i'll leave this everything as default and storage so 10 is not enough so i'll go with 40 or 50 so how much ever you want you can select but if you are going with a large scale application i would highly recommend to follow the architecture that your architecture team is following okay so as this is just a demo i'm going with 40 gbi okay so i'll click on launch instance so it will take a couple of minutes to spin up this ec2 instance now if you see the instance that we had launched is the state of the instance is running and the status is two by two checks passed all right so it took it took a couple of minutes to check the status okay so now let us verify if the wordpress is installed completely or not okay so let me grab the public ip address of this one you can either grab the public ipv4 address or public dns okay so let me take the public ipv4 let me copy that and paste it in the 
browser so now if you see a sample blog page appears here so if you want to log into this blog page and do some you know changes to this blog post what you can do is you can hit that uh, public IP address along with that add slash at the end and WP hyphen admin so if you go ahead with this after providing the IP address and provide WP hyphen login you can provide your username and password and log into your WordPress console and do some changes to the plugins or whatever you want you can alter that so but how to get your username and password so you do not know what is the username and password right so how to get that so to get that go to your ec2 instance again open actions and if you see monitor and troubleshoot you have something called a system log you can go there and get all the logs of the system so what is the password it is using everything is here if you come here if you go all the way up so if you see this one this box contains the password to it and the username so by default the username is user and the password is this let me copy the password okay let me copy this so what is the user a username it is user okay so and password let me paste this one and click on login so this will be helping you to log into your wordpress console if you see this these are the things that are there and if you go to plugins there are some all uh, pre-installed plugins that are already coming up as you selected that particular ami so if you want to do some changes you can do it here all right so as this is not a wordpress course i'm not going to teach everything around the wordpress but this is how you create an ec2 instance along with that host your wordpress site on your ec2 instance okay so that's it for today's guys so if you're liking the content that i'm creating please subscribe to the channel and share it among your friends thank you